What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with another, or this week's review for Star Wars The Bad Batch. So, it was another progressive episode as far as the team goes. They're still on that planet where they took their, or where Rex helped them get their inhibitor chips out of their brains, but now they have to worry about getting off planet, and that's, um, made difficult because the Empire learns that they are, that, or because at the end of the last episode, the um, Empire was noted that or given the heads up that the team is on the planet, so Crosshair and his team of um, stormtroopers go after the team to flush them out and take them in, dead or alive, preferably dead, even though in this episode the uh, Kaminoans want to take them in alive. So overall the episode was pretty much a carryover episode, kind of a fallout from the last episode. So we got to see more of the stormtroopers in action as far as um, flushing the Bad Batch out of the um, Republic cruiser. But we round out with this week's particular um, teaser as far as the next level of Bounty Hunter in the form of Cad Bane. So another Star Wars, the Clone Wars con connection, um, tie-in as far as what's going on. So we see that the Kaminoans are serious about getting Omega back. So now it's a matter of who she's a clone of. Um, I want to potentially say, because they're doing a little bit of piece-by-piece piece connection and tie-in, as far as the Star Wars universe as a whole, as far as this week's speculation goes, that she's potentially um, either a clone of Palpatine or a manipulation as far as a clone of someone but injected with maybe Jedi DNA or a Force user's DNA or maybe even Palpatine himself's DNA. And these are the early stages of Palpatine trying to clone himself as far as his contingency plan that we saw in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. So. It's like I said, it's all still speculation, so I'm kind of curious to see how they go from here. But we see a kind of dual purpose being served where the Empire is trying to get rid of the Bad Batch and bring the army, Imperial Navy, and army under a singular unified system. And then we have the Kaminoans rejecting it because they are being left out on a more regular basis. So um, it's kind of curious to see what's going to go on, or maybe the Emperor is. Um, doing that on purpose where he's keeping the he's trying to hedge all his bets in every possible way which is something that we know he, that he likes to do so we'll see where they take it from here but i'm kind of curious to see how all these bounty hunters tie in or maybe if they're going to tie in the bounty hunters to the book of boba fett at the end of the year or maybe even with something related to the mandalorian so um it's kind of all up in the air it feels like so i kind of like I keep saying, one a little bit more in each episode, but because they're all about 20 to 25 minutes long, that they are kind of making it, doing that on purpose, it feels like, to have one bit of, to connect, one bit of new information in each episode. And then by the end of the season, they're going to have some all-encompassing piece of information to tie it all together. So that's all there is for this particular review. I liked the, um, reveal of Cad Bane and how his and his interaction with um, Hunter and how he says that once you figure out one storm clone trooper then you know them all so um, an interesting thing there and we know his abilities as far as his, and all of that so that he is a really good high-end bounty hunter so um, him getting Omega wasn't too hard of a leap to make um, in order to get her out of the hands of um, Hunter. So that's all there is for this particular review. So um, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, maybe some little Easter egg or nugget from the episode that I missed, then you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website's headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all that good stuff. And of course, you get early access to bonus content and upcoming ep the upcoming episode schedule by supporting the show on Patreon along with um, ad-free episodes um, on Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. But that is all for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.